Hey guys, so today we're going to see what I got from the standard restaurant supply store. I went with my husband to go pick up some items, so stay tuned, let's find out what it is. Alright guys, so I went to the standard restaurant supplies, I think it was in like Mesa or Chandler or something like that. Um, but anyways, we went to a different uh, restaurant store thinking that that one would have these uh, mortar, and pestles, mortar and pestles, but they were only a food store specifically. They carried mostly food. Like they had some items, but none, nothing like this. So then we went to the standard restaurant supply store and then we found these. They had a third one. I really was hoping to get that one. It was five inches. This one is four and a half, so it was half an inch bigger than this one, but it was tall like this one. So we ended up with two different sizes since they were out and I couldn't find them anywhere else that we've really looked at or anything like that. Because the ones at Walmart are like, you basically squish avocados and that's it. Like it's not meant for what these do. So let's open up the boxes and find out what's in them. Other than the photos, obviously. Sorry. My uh, tripods are kind of in my moment. I think my husband's doing videos with them. So, and I didn't bother to look for another one. Okay, so on the top you get the puzzle part right here. Or in bubble wrap. And you have the, oops, wrong end. I'm all like up at the mic. Uh, so you have this part. It's really kind of. Um, powdery in a way. So anytime you rub it, it's kind of like that. But that's the part that's going to be rough right here. And you can give these a light wash if you wanted to. And then the rest of this is going to be smooth textured. So this is the part where you're going to use to grind if you don't know how to use one. Okay. And then in the bowl right here, this part right here, it's going to be the same kind of texture, except for it's going to have like little grooves and lines to help you grind everything. But it's also shiny and smooth on the outside. These are supposed to be made out of a type of marble. I'm not sure what kind. I'm sure some standard, generic type. The whole thing's like that. You can get some of these and they'll have like on the bottom like cork or felt to help it from like sliding or scratching surfaces. But you can also do that yourself as well. No big deal. So basically, the idea, just to give it a quick little demonstration, is imagine your little wrapper is your, your item, whatever you want to squish and grind up, get it in there, okay? So you're going to take this and you're going to go like this, basically, and then like this around the bowl to grind up whatever it is into whatever size you need it to be. So if you end up like me where you have rock salt or whole pieces of herbs and you want them smaller, you can use that. I'm using one of these for garlic because I don't have a garlic press. Garlic press is a messy and if I want to make a mess, I might as well have fun doing it. Oh. And then for this one, because the box is shorter, I'll just open it like this. It comes the same way. Little pestle on the top. I like this one a little better because it's got all the pretty stripes. But I could always interchange them if I wanted to. And then, let me get this open. And this one's shorter. There we go. So yeah, this one's more of a bowl bowl, and then that one's more of a bowl with like a little pedestal. These are quite heavy, quite heavy. Like that one's significantly heavier than this one, obviously. I love the patterning on this one. You can see. And it's even on the inside, so it's really kind of fun. And then this one, I didn't even give it a good look. But you got different patterns on this one, a little bit more gray with this one, which is kind of nice to have that break up. A little bit of a black line going through that one. So that's really cool. 
And like I said, you can kind of use whatever one and whichever one. This one's for that one, that one's for this one. So, but yeah, those are really cool. Let's see, what does the boxes say? Uh, these are naturally non-stick, stay cool surfaces because they're made from marble. This particular one, this is the large one. This is, or I should say tall one. It's a four by four inch or a 10 by 10 centimeter. It's ideal for grinding herbs, spices, nuts for fresh flavors. They don't give any like instructions or anything like that in the box, no cleaning recommendations or anything like that. Let's see. Um, the only instructions they do give is that little s paragraph, I would say, more or less it's a very sh long sentence. A crush herbs, sentences, or nut meats with a rotate rotary motion, press them around the sides of the mortar. So that's about all the instructions you get for those, which is fine. It's not hard to look up how to use them if you're not sure. Yeah, and both of them say that. The only difference is the shorter one is 4.5 by 2.5 inches or 11.4 centimeters by 6.4 centimeters. Just basically means it's a little wider and a little shorter. But they have the exact same um, packaging. They are the brand uh, Norpro quality for cooks. So like I said, I got them from a supply store for restaurants, so of course it's going to be designed for cooks, but you can use this for almost anything I would suppose. I see people use them in their religious purposes, um, food purposes like I want to use them for, and then just other things like some artists will use them to grind up particular paints and stuff like that and other things, so they're kind of versatile. I like how they're the most medieval or primitive thing that we have that we still use today that's like kind of necessary for certain things because the satisfaction of just, you know, rah, when you have something to crush and you're already mad. It, it's kind of like hanging up the phone, except we can't do that no more. We don't have that satisfying slam the phone down no more. So, I mean, you get to have that. Alright guys, well thanks for watching and stay tuned for update videos. I will be doing some cooking videos in the future. I'm not sure exactly when, but I will keep you guys posted. And I will demonstrate a good and proper way to use these. I do know that some people have videos of how to clean them or prep them or season them, however you want to label that. Uh, depending on what kind you have, I know certain ones are made out of certain materials that need that and they come with instructions to do that. So that's something to look into if you were to get one. Um, I do know that depending on where you get it and what it's made out of, that they can vary in price. Like this one I do believe was 12, this one was 14, the bigger one between the two would have been 18. So not extremely expensive, but not necessarily like super cheap either. There was a stainless steel option in this style, which was $22, basically $23, which I'm still not sure why that that was more expensive than the one made out of stone. I don't know. But anyways, that's what that is. So just kind of keep in mind the price, the size, what it's made out of when you determine if you want one or need one. So if you guys could like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, hit the um, share button if it's still there and everything like that. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube to really like interact with it other than just watch the things. So I'm a little rusty on that part. So bear with me. Anyways, Nice seeing you guys again. Hopefully you found this useful or informative in some kind or fashion. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.